Hi, my name is Deacon Jim, and this is St. Bernadette's in South Los Angeles. Today is Monday, April 27th. We're beginning the third week of Easter. And let us begin as we always begin, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, as we begin this celebration, let us praise our merciful God. Lord Jesus, you came to seek out those who were lost. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to give your life for the sake of all. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You gather into one family your scattered children. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray. Grant, we pray, almighty God, that putting off our old self with all its ways, we may live as Christ did, for through the healing paschal remedies, you have conformed us to his nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And let us come together as we break open the scripture. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen, filled with grace and power, was working great wonders and signs among the people. Certain members of the so-called synagogue of freedmen, Cyrenians and Alexandrians, and people from Cilicia and Asia, came forward and debated with Stephen. But they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. Then they instigated some men to say, we have heard him speaking blasphemous words against Moses and against God. They stirred up the people, the elders and the scribes, accosted him, seized him, and brought him before the Sanhedrin. They presented false witnesses who testified, this man never stopped saying things against this holy place and the law. For we have heard him claim that this Jesus the Nazarene will destroy this place and change the customs that Moses handed down to us. All those who sat in the Sanhedrin looked intently at him and saw that his face was like the face of an angel. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm is, Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Though princes meet and talk against me, your servant meditates on your statutes. Yes, your decrees are my delight, they are my counselors. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. I declared my ways, and you answered me. Teach me your statutes. Make me understand the way of your precepts, and I will meditate on your wondrous deeds. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Remove from me the way of falsehood, and favor me with your law. The way of truth I have chosen. I have sent your ordinances before me. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus had fed the 5,000, his disciples saw him walking on the sea. The next day, the crowd that remained across the sea saw that there had been only one boat there and that Jesus had not gone along with his disciples in the boat, but only his disciples had left. Other boats came from Tiberias, near the place where they had eaten the bread, when the Lord gave thanks. When the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into boats, and they came to Capernaum looking for Jesus. And when they found him across the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered them and said, Amen, amen. I say to you, you are looking for me, not because you saw signs, because you ate the loaves of the bread and were filled. Do not work for food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, 
which the Son of Man will give you. For on him the Father, God, has set his seal. So they said to him, What can we do to accomplish the works of God? Jesus answered and said to them, This is the work of God, that you believe in the one he sent. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So today we hear in the first reading, the first part of a two-part story about Stephen. We're going to hear the second part tomorrow. We'll talk a little bit more about that. You have to hear both parts to understand it. Nice thing about Stephen is Stephen's a deacon, one of the first deacons. So, of course, I'll be looking forward to talking about him tomorrow. But the reading we have today is really important because Jesus is talking about, they're all really important in the Bible, right? Jesus is talking about the bread. Now, for those of you who came to Sunday Mass, you heard the road to Emmaus story. Um, and Father yesterday gave a beautiful uh, homily on that. But the road to Emmaus story ends with this very interesting moment when Jesus takes the bread, blesses it, and breaks it, which looks like a mass. And the men that are with him, that, are, that have just met him on the road, see him in the breaking of the bread. They recognize him in the breaking of the bread. And that's critically important. We're called, too, during Mass, to recognize him in the breaking of the bread of the bread. Now in today's story, after Jesus feeds the 5,000, and think back to the story if you recall the story, which we haven't heard it in the scripture right now, but if when Jesus gets the loaves, the five loaves and seven loaves and five fishes or whatever, he takes it. What does he do? He receives it, he blesses it, he breaks it, and he distributes it. That's mass. Blessing, breaking, you know, receiving, blessing, breaking, and distributing. And Jesus says in the road to Emmaus, remember, they, they say, they saw him in the breaking of the bread. In today's story, the 5,000, they didn't get it. Jesus did exactly the same thing. He received, he blessed, he broke, he distributed. They didn't see it. All they saw was bread. And Jesus says to them, he didn't get it. You didn't catch on. It's not about the bread. It's about what the bread is. It's my body. It's what it represents. And until you understand that, until you understand you can't accomplish the works of God, this is the work of God, that you believe in the one he sent. And until we believe in Jesus Christ, my brothers and sisters, all the rest is for naught. So whenever we celebrate the communion part of the Mass, See Jesus in the breaking of the bread. Because until you, we do that, you, cannot, you have to believe in the one who sent. He was sent. Until we do that, we haven't made that leap. Amen. We have opened our hearts and minds to the wisdom of God in the liturgy of the word. Now let us turn to him humbly and sincerely with these common petitions. For our Holy Father, the Pope, for our Archbishop, Jose, and for all the pastors, priests, and deacons of the Archdiocese of Los Angeles, that they be blessed with the zeal and courage to proclaim the values and the obligations of our holy religion. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our civil leaders and representatives on the national and local level, that their laws and their lives be an inspiration to all citizens by reflecting right reason and divine revelation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our youth in particular, that they be given the encouragement and the guidance they need to resist the immoral and sinful presence of our current pagan culture. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, the needy, the aged, the lonely, particularly those that are suffering with the coronavirus, that they be consoled spiritually by the gifts of grace and also receive care, aid, and loving concern from relatives, friends, and neighbors. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died recently, particularly those that have died from the coronavirus, that they may speedily attain the blessedness of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own personal intentions, May these, for all your own personal intentions, 
and for all the intentions written in the intention books throughout the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of mercy and compassion, bless us by granting these common petitions. For we plead to you in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And let us pray together the prayer our Lord Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And my brothers and sisters, let us close today with a prayer. Almighty, ever-living God, we restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ. Increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament, and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. Through Christ our Lord, amen. And the Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. My brothers and sisters, go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day and a blessed week.